November 2012, astronomers identify a new planet 100 light years from Earth, at least four times more massive than Jupiter, and it's gone rogue. Unlike Earth and all the other objects in our solar system, this planet doesn't orbit a star. It really is lost in space. When I was a kid watching science fiction movies, every now and again there would be a rogue planet, just some planet wandering space without a star. And I thought that was pretty silly. But it turns out that might actually happen. When planets are forming, they can interact with each other gravitationally. And it's entirely possible that when our solar system formed, planets were kicked out into interstellar space. There could be as many as 200 billion rogue planets in our galaxy. That's as many rogue planets as there are stars in the sky. And one of them could be heading our way. A collision with another planet sounds far-fetched. Could it really happen? As a matter of fact, it already has. Four and a half billion years ago, a young planet veers into the Earth's orbit. We have the Earth sitting here, and another planet about the size of Mars came in and smacked us hard. The two collide at over 25,000 miles an hour, 12 times faster than a bullet. The impact destroys the smaller planet. The Earth survives, but only just. The violence of this is hard to imagine. Two planets coming together, smashing together into one molten mass. After uh, an impact of that scale, the entire surface of the Earth is, is literally liquefied. But imagine the floor of an active volcano with islands of solid rock and lava spurting right and left. The entire surface of the planet would have looked like that. The Earth itself, for a little while, would have had an atmosphere of molten rock. There was a, like, like a vision of hell. Debris, blasted out at 20,000 miles an hour, orbits the molten Earth. Gravity brings the debris together. The result? Our moon.